Hello my friends, this is Lionel Anderson here with you guys with a brand new YouTube BitChute video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Nostradamus, that's right, the man himself who had all these predictions, some would say a prophet, a lot of them come true, a lot haven't, but uh, my friends, he predicted uh, Queen Elizabeth and her recent death and what would happen soon after with the monarch. So we're gonna get into his prediction, what that's all about. So before we do, I'm just gonna encourage everybody to subscribe if you're new. As I say, subscribe to survive. I cover it all from occult, NWO, what's going on in the world, even UFOs and extraterrestrials, and much more. And if you enjoy my work, make sure you check me out on Patreon. The link is in the description. I got occult class, health class, and tons of other great things. All right, smash the like button too. It helps with the algorithms. Now let's get to it. Well, as you can see, I'm here in Amsterdam right now, live on location, checking out Europe. But uh, yeah, we gotta talk about this Nostradamus prediction. So back in 1555, my friends, he wrote a book of prophecies. And just for your information, if you guys don't wanna take my word for it, I'm gonna leave a link for you in the description where you could check this all out for yourselves. But he did have a prophecy where he talks about the death of the queen that would happen. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna leave the link below so you can see exactly what he said word for word. But pretty much to sum up the gist of what he was trying to say, he said that there would be uh, a passing away of the queen due to a lung illness, something to do with her lungs. Now I'm not sure, I haven't been following along too much to this stuff about what her cause of death was, but wouldn't that be something if they said it was with that sickness going around, if they blamed it on that? or something to do with her breathing. Well, that's what Nostradamus apparently said it had something to do with her lungs. And that uh, that she would pass away and then, of course, it would be Charles who would become the king, but it would only last for a very short amount of time. That's right. He's not gonna be, according to Nostradamus, Charles is not going to be king for very long it won't last long at all. And the reasons from my research is given because of the controversy and with what happened with Diana. A lot of people in the UK have not forgiven him for that. They, he's not very well liked, Charles, let's just say. And there's, sorry, we got a helicopter going by. Just bear with me for a second. So yeah, Charles isn't well liked. There's gonna be a lot of pressure put onto him from the public. People just do not want to accept him because of all the stuff that happened uh, with Diana and he's just he's just not a good guy, right? Plus he's getting old, right? He's 73, 74 and he has health complications. So he's gonna step down is pretty much what the prophecy said. And that's gonna leave who? Well, of course, Prince William. Well, lots of people, the brainwash community, they love Prince William. Even the ladies think he's a nice, handsome guy and all that. Imagine that, how somebody could think that about that goofball. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's said that Prince William is gonna take over the throne. And, uh, but that's not where it ends. According to the prophecy, Prince William is gonna bring about a republic. That's right, he's gonna end the monarchy. The monarchy's gonna fall. It's gonna be no more, my friends, once Prince William steps in as king. And I'm not saying Prince William's a good guy. No, he's part of the NWO agenda too. He's a lizard like the rest of them. But I think this is all planned out by the elites uh, to bring in the Republic, believe it or not. I think this is all a big agenda to go in with the, their next agenda. Maybe that's whatever that may be issuing in the Antichrist or something like that. I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna be yet. Some people even think William, Prince William, King William, could be the Antichrist as well, which we're gonna explore in a further video. Now, another thing I thought I'd bring up is uh, there's this guy named Mario Reading, or Mario Redding, and he did a, wrote a book in 2006 covering Nostradamus and his predictions, and he put his take on it. And his theory is that we may even see Harry become king because in this same Nostradamus prophecy that we're talking about right now, uh, Nostradamus says that the new king will be somebody you would not expect to be king, okay? 
So everybody expects, if Charles steps down, everyone expects that it would be William to be king since he's next in line, right? So what this guy's arguing is, well, if Nostromus says it's somebody we won't expect to be, then nobody expects Harry, right? Even though Harry is fifth in line for the throne uh, because you got William and then you got William's children, then it's Harry. So it'll be interesting to see, but all I know is, uh, you know, Nostradamus, he's gotten a lot of things right. A lot of things of his predictions haven't come true as well. But uh, the whole queen thing came true, uh, as we could see that's playing out. So it's interesting. So I just wanted to tell you guys this information. We'll keep a close eye on what's happening. Uh, but at the end of the day, my friends, do not get distracted because by the end of the day, this whole thing is a distraction to the queen. Like, look, the whole world's distracted by this. Meanwhile, the world's falling apart. We're looking at a, at a economic collapse, okay? We're looking at food shortages. We're looking at an energy crisis. I'm here in Europe right now, I know. Uh, I've been staying in Germany and they're looking at a major energy crisis. We're, uh, California, there's been blackouts and it's gonna spread everywhere else. Uh, we're heading into chaos uh, right about now, my friends. And who knows if they're gonna bring back lockdowns too and new sickness and all that polio, right? In New York. So end of the day, this whole, all this queen stuff is just a bunch of distraction too. And they're gonna milk it for all it's worth, you know, especially when Charles becomes king. And then can you imagine if William comes in? It's a big distraction to distract you from what's really going on. So this is gonna be one of my last videos talking about this. I just had to get a couple things out of the way. I might have one more video exposing King Charles and who he really is. That video will be next. So make sure you're subscribed. As I say, subscribe to survive. I cover all this kind of stuff. And like I said, if you're a fan of my work and you want to support me to help me to continue make these videos for you guys, check me on Patreon for a bunch of great different options. I got there exclusive videos up to three or four videos a week. The link is in the description. Thank you so much, my friends. Share this video and let me know what you think about what I just said and what Nostradamus is saying. Leave a comment down below. Well, I got to continue on my journey here in uh, Amsterdam. It's been a wild ride. So you guys have a good one. We'll talk to you in the next video exposing Charles. And that's about it. Lionel, signing off. Cheers, my friends. Hey, my friends. Lionel, once again, I just forgot to add something into the video here. Uh, I'm inviting you guys, if you're on Facebook, to check out my worldwide movement, the NWO Freedom Fighters. We do have a group, but it's heavily censored, so I encourage you to like our page, our official Facebook page. Almost 10,000 likes there. Oh, I almost fell back into the water. But uh, yeah, check us out on the Facebook page. Um, that's NWO Freedom Fighters, okay? And I post there every day. I got great content. I'm waking up a lot of people there. Great truth. We got great memes and other great stuff there that uh, could help wake up your friends and family and you'll even learn something too. So the link to that is down in the description as well. So check us out on Facebook, NWO Freedom Fighters. See you there, friends. Lionel signing off.